Hello everyone, this is William Armstrong here to talk about commenting on people's videos on YouTube for a bit of a tip and feedback insight. I'm going to show you the do's and don'ts of commenting on people's videos on YouTube. So wait one moment. Okay, I'm back with what I'm going to talk about. This person commented on my video and obviously thigh is their language, but this person's comment is broken as a result that this person spelled click with a K instead of a C at least twice. Um, obviously this person's English is very pitiful. I'm not saying, I'm not really bashing the person's nationality because they're from Thailand by the looks of it. But obviously they didn't spell click correctly, they just used a K instead of a C. Which I know that people in most countries, English is not their first language. But my YouTube channel is English USA only, therefore that my all my videos are in English. Comments that are not in English cannot be read by me or anyone else that didn't speak the same language. Everyone speaks different languages. Therefore the comment that this person left, I cannot read the rest of it because it's in Thai. I can only read the top half of it, which doesn't make any sense. So if we use Google Translate, if we use Bing Translate or translate.google.com, if we attempt to do a translation, this is what it's going to say. Okay, it is here. Look at this. So all this is click, hey, S, and rebuild me too. I hope to follow through on the promise. Okay, if you click and S, H. I'll click immediately to help each other with okay, K's 100% guaranteed. That's just broken English. It isn't, or no, it's not in broken English. It's, it looks like it's in Thai, but it's in K-H-M-E-R language. It's in, I don't know how to say the name of that language, but I will show you. From being, Cambodia. It's in it's in Cambodia is where I don't know how to pronounce that name of that language, but it's in Cambodia. So this person's in Cambodia that I meant to say I meant really I did say Thai, but come to find out the person's not from Thailand. It's from Cambodia. So this language is common with Cambodia. It's in common Cambodian. So that's what that is. If we go to the Wikipedia article, it's, I can't pronounce that name, it starts with a K and I will struggle with it. It's Khmer, it's Khmer language, so this language is common in Cambodia, so that's what it is. So this right here is Cambodian, or Hamer language, therefore that when I attempt to do Google Translate on my phone using the translation camera and the Google Translate app, it translates incorrectly as Thai. But when I use the text translation, it automatically translates to English from from Hamer. Hamer is the language, and I cannot understand Hamer. And in English, it is broken, resulting in broken English. It translates to broken English onto the right side of the screen. And obviously that's why I, t I always have my videos set to English audio only, but I will let you hear a preview.
That is what Kmer sounds like. Here's an example of what it sounds like in English when I translate it into English. Let me just turn up the desktop audio. Audio input capture. Um, audio output capture and source. Add source. Show speakers. Okay, I've got the audio output capture turned on in case you didn't hear it. Let me play it again. That's what it sounds like when I play it in English. Click yes and rebuild me too. I hope to follow through on the promise. Okay, if any of you click sh, I will click immediately to help each other. Okay, 100% guaranteed. So that's the English rendering of the Kmer language of what this person put. And it didn't make any sense in English. It makes sense in Kmer, but it didn't make sense in English. It makes no sense in English whatsoever. So obviously I am American, I'm born in the USA, I'm just saying that people, when they leave comments on videos or anything, it's best to do it in a language where the person can read it. If it is done in any other language that the person can't read, then it's going to cause a bit of an issue where one, it creates a language barrier, and two, the person that knows English is, pri is their first primary language, they won't be able to understand what the other person is saying that is not in English. English is my main primary language as I'm born in America, but other people from other countries will have often have their native language as their primary language, like if you're born in Mexico, Spain, or Peru, or Colombia, or Puerto Rico, then you're going to either have you're going to at least have at most English and Spanish as English as your secondary language, Spanish as your primary. Or if you're born in America, you mainly have English as your primary language. You can also be Latin American descent or Hispanic American, where you can have English as your primary language, or actually have, Span have English and Spanish. To where a person has English as their primary, as their secondary language, but also can speak Spanish on top of that. Or there are people that are, are in America that can speak Spanish only, but speak very little English, which is which is somewhat common. But as long as if a person can speak enough English to navigate and to communicate, then they'll be fine. But it'll be a bit difficult if a person couldn't understand, if a person spoke in English that spoke a language that the other person couldn't understand. Like, for example, if someone spoke to me in Korean or Chinese or Taiwanese or any other language that I couldn't understand, it creates a language barrier. I do know a little bit of Chinese, such as Ni Hao. That's it. That's that one word. It it also has a different meaning to hello or you good is what I've learned. I've talked to people that have a Chinese heritage. I've actually had a neighbor who's also Chinese descent who used to live where I live at. And I also met a woman that who's also Chinese heritage and I asked them what Ni Hao meant and they told me what it meant. And they gave me a, a breakdown what the word, what the Chinese word actually means. I also know a little bit of German, French, Spanish, and Brazilian, but that's about it. And Italian, but that's about it. I only know a few words, but not enough to talk it. I've learned on my own a few words of that of those languages. But English is my native primary language, and I obviously politely ask you that if you choose to leave a comment on my videos, please keep the comment in English, full English, so I can read it, or just try your best with English if you're not good at it. If your English isn't really good, just try your best. And I'll try to use a translator, like such as Google Translate or Bing Translate, to help fill in the gap. But obviously, note that the translation of a language from Kmer 
which is on screen won't actually fully translate to the English, won't properly fully translate into English, results in broken translation from Hamer to English. So this is William Armstrong signing out, and I will see you next time. Bye bye. And please note that if you leave a comment on my video, I can only understand full English. What really is strange is that the first half of the comment in English has words such as click spelled with a K instead of a C, which you're supposed to spell the word click with C-L-I-C-K, not with the K. No one spells the word click with the K. No one does. So that's what that is. So I will see you next time. Bye-bye.